Dr. Lucy, this sounds fantastic. Can you tell us the name of the drug and what it does, why it's so special? And of course, it's a British success story, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, it is exciting. The drug is called Olaparib, and actually it is a sort of manifestation of about 25 years' worth of research when the first BRCA gene, the a gene that is linked to breast cancer, was discovered. Um, it does only affect certain breast cancer patients and certain prostate cancer patients, so only the people who have that gene will be able to benefit from the drug. Um, and it is very exciting for those patients who tend to be younger and probably feel like they have a ticking time bomb inside them. It's famously called the Angelina Jolie gene. She um, notoriously removed, had a double mastectomy um, because she was uh, discovered she carried this gene. But in fact, you know, it is only about, uh, about a thousand patients a year who will be able to benefit and um, the drug itself, it doesn't stop cancer occurring, but it reduces the risk of it reoccurring. So for those patients, it, it is really exciting news. Yeah. What, and yeah. What, what's less, less talked about is that um, it, there was a bit of a row over this drug. And last year, uh, NICE refused to fund it. Um, and following lobbying from various cancer charities and indeed a petition, uh, uh, NICE eventually did a secret deal with the manufacturers, AstraZeneca, and, uh, and approved it under the Cancer Drug Fund. But because we don't know what that deal was, it's very difficult for some clinicians are angry. They can't evaluate how much that drug you know, is worth compared to other drugs which are seeking approval. So... Uh, yeah. it's, it's had a bit of a controversy, but obviously for those pa patients, it's the first drug, cancer drug, to target a genetic mutation. So it's a very good um, precedent. Yeah, and in terms of the numbers, I believe there are 550 men with prostate cancer who, who will be, uh, benefit from this, 350 breast cancer patients who are women. There was initially a bit of a furore about this drug because it was rejected through being too expensive, wasn't it? Do you have any idea of what the drug costs? And, and I believe that the government managed to haggle with AstraZeneca and get the price down. Is that correct? That's exactly right, yes. So, um, And that's one of the things that's made uh, some clinicians a bit angry is that the the haggling took place behind closed doors and the price is yep. remains a secret as far as i know so nice approves on the value the basis of value for money and the last time i looked it was about 20,000 pounds per added year of someone's life quality mm -hmm. year life um some countries uh spend more money on patient drugs and others less. But I think France spends a lot more and Ireland spends a lot more. So there is controversy around it. And if we don't know, if we can't see what they're spending on this drug, then it's difficult yeah. to evaluate it for other drugs. You know, there are plenty of drugs in the pipeline that people would arguably say should be licensed uh, under nice approval, but it's right. difficult to evaluate it. Um, and, uh, you know, this, this drug is exciting because it's not only breast and prostate cancer, but also there's hope that it could target uh, a genetic mutation for pancreatic cancer in the future. Mm -hmm. And I know it's already used for ovarian cancer. So the implications of it are fairly potentially widespread. So that's, that's what uh, makes it significant. Yeah.